A miscarriage can be absolutely devastating for a couple and how the mom and dad deal with their grief can really affect their relationship. Family psychotherapist Arden Greenspan Goldberg is here to help us understand what a couple might experience after a miscarriage and how to deal with it. It is always good to see you. Thanks so much Thanks, for coming Julie. in. My pleasure. This is such a tough topic and, mm. and, and so many couples experience mm -hmm. this. What are yes. some of the emotions, specifically for women right now, what do right. they experience after a miscarriage? I think just having the miscarriage, it's so shocking. It's like uh, the carpet pulled out from under them and there's so much anxiety and fear that's part of it. And the process is very painful as well, the physical piece of it is uh, very unnerving. I know that um, men and women, we've heard they grieve differently mm -hmm. um, after a miscarriage. And you know, you don't often hear about the man or the father, mm. but they can have a really difficult time with a oh, miscarriage. You know what, Julie, the, the hopes are dashed. You know how we are when we imagine having a child and we imagine their name and what they're going to look like? Mm -hmm. There's such a letdown after a miscarriage and uh, the dad feels that as well the, the new dad and the mom is feeling very empty as well so it's a real letdown real disappointment tell me how it's different though for the mom and the dad with some of the emotions they'll go through in the grieving process yes I think for for the woman her nerves are very raw don't forget she's actually going through it the loss itself so her nerves are on edge. She could be feeling very moody, testy, angry. There's a hormonal drop of estrogen. So you're like in the happy place of being pregnant and you're in sort of like a dark space as well. And I think for the husband sometimes they feel so helpless and they don't know what to do to help her process it and through it. And some husbands that I've known actually kind of go about their business and they don't even to want to talk it about little. it, they ignore it, yeah. What can they do? What should they do to help their, their wife or partner if she's having a really hard time? Right, I think they need to really be there and nurture her and be supportive and pet her and the arm around the shoulder and say, you know, honey, we'll get through this tough time together because our love is that strong. Okay, and sometimes, I mean, it can bring a couple closer together, Yes. but sometimes it can put a real strain on a relationship. What do you do if that starts to happen in your marriage or your partnership? Um, I think if it really gets to be uh, very straining, um, the husband again, you see, I have a thing about pregnancy, Julie. The husband has to agree with the wife about everything. You have, he has to be well, very absolutely. agreeable. I agree. Very agreeable and yes, honey, you're right. So he really has to go out of his way to be extraordinary sure. here and really be there for her because there's going to be a strain. She's going to feel like very, very, like I said, the nerves are going to be on end. Plus there's going to be anxiety whether she uh, can get pregnant again because I think that's part of what is frightening for a woman once it happens. It's frightening, can I get pregnant again? There's so much uncertainty. So she really needs to share this, to talk about it with her husband and or you know, some other friend that maybe has gone through it herself. And that's sort of my next question. When do you need to go further than that friend? When do you need to actually get help or encourage a, a friend or a partner that they need to get some help over this? Right. I think after a few months, if you're still feeling not quite yourself and if you don't want to get out of bed and there's crying jags and again very moody and angry and let's say maybe you have another child and you're taking it out on your child or your poor husband right. at that point I think it's time and, and a friend can really uh, approach you and say something like or the husband honey, you're not yourself, or, you know, sweetie, you're not yourself at this time, and um, I think it would be to helpful somebody. to talk to someone that will make you feel better to help you process the miscarriage, because it really is a loss, and there's a grieving process that goes along with it as well. So, finally, what is the right thing to say to someone who's had a miscarriage? It's really hard to know what they're dealing with, mm. how they're dealing with it, mm -hmm. and often people are worried about saying the wrong thing, and sometimes do. Right. Well, you have to say, I think, I'm, I'm sorry for what you've been through. It's like any loss, and sometimes there are no words, you know? It's like a, a hug, a kiss, 
I'm here for you if you want to talk. Uh, and if they're not doing very well, I'm worried and concerned about you. Maybe you need to process this through with a clinical social worker or a psychologist, or maybe even a woman's support group for other women that have been through this as well. Arden, thank you so much. Great advice. Oh, really appreciate you coming in. And for more great advice from Arden, you can check out her website, askarden.com. Thank you so much for watching Parents TV, and we'll see you soon.